Hello guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's video, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano ma-achieve ang orange and teal color grading using the camera raw filter in Photoshop. At pwede nyo rin itong magamit sa Lightroom since pero lang din naman ang tools and features ng camera raw at Adobe Lightroom. By the way guys, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell dahil marami pang tutorials and creative behind the scene photo shoots ang i-upload ko soon. So let's start guys. So guys, open natin yung mga gagamitin natin photos sa pag-edit ng orange and teal. Control A and then drag natin ito sa Photoshop. So, ito yung mga gagamitin natin guys. So, ang unang gagawin natin ay duplicate this layer. Um, right click and then duplicate. Click OK. Or pwede nyo naman delete and then Ctrl J para mas mabilis. Then, next is hanapin natin yung filter and camera raw filter. Click natin yun. So yun guys, makikita nyo naman parehong pareho yung features nitong camera raw sa Adobe Lightroom. Meron syang basic adjustment, curves, sharpening or the details, split toning, HSL adjustment, and camera, camera calibration. So, yung uh, procedure na gagawin natin dito is halos para lang din naman na magagamit sa Lightroom. So, ang unang gagawin natin ay bawasan natin yung temperature around negative 3. Then, dagdagan natin yung exposure niya. I think plus 0.10 and yung contrast plus 8. So, babawasan natin guys yung highlights niya around negative 50 and negative 53. Then, yung shadows niya guys is tasan natin ng content. Plus 13 and, and sa whites naman guys sa whites uwasan natin to around negative negative 18 and then sa blacks is tatasan din natin ng plus 8 so sa clarity naman guys is daragdagan natin another tip wag niyo masyadong taasan yung clarity nyo siguro ang um, max maximum na is 15 or 10 ganyan as much as possible dapat din na din lumagpas para hindi maging zombie yung yung photos nyo ganyan yung mangyayari pag tinasan yung clarity so dapat 15 and below lang kayo so in this case around plus 6 lang ako then din na natin gagalawin yung dehaze um, dito tayo sa vibrance so, mas gusto kong gamitin yung vibrance para mag pop up yung colors compared sa saturation so I think sa vibrance let's say plus 18 and then bawasan natin ng konti yung saturation niya around negative 4 so next is the curves or so next is the tone curves so bali magkiklik tayo ng tatlong dot and um, gumawa tayo ng parang letter S para madagdagan yung contrast and umiwanan yun yung subject natin And I think okay na yan. Then go to then dito naman tayo sa sharpening or sa detail. Um, magdaragdag tayo ng sharpening guys. Although 2.8 naman siya and sharp naman siya. Pero mas gusto ko pa rin mas sharp talaga yung subject niya. Around plus 8. Then yung 
nice reduction is around plus 13 so yun guys so dito naman tayo at mamaya tayo pupunta sa HSL so bali dito muna tayo sa camera calibration so bali usually ito yung pinaka main source or pinaka main tool para ma-achieve yung orange and teal dito sa blue primary the green primary and the red primary so pag tinasan mo to mag nakikita nyo guys teal and violet so pag tinasan nyo to magiging violet yung yung dagat nya which is maling mali so dito tayo guys sa teal I think in this case um isasagad ko siya sa as negative 100 um take note guys hindi siya usually hindi lahat ng photos kailangan isagad yung yung u nya as negative 100 depende pa rin yun sa ano sa, pic, sa picture sa photo na ine-edit mo so bali nasa iyo pa rin yung decision kung ilan yung tamang tint na so bali din natin gagalawin guys yung saturation nya so proceed naman tayo dito sa green primary color so sa green primary I think um, plus 13 tayo then bawasan natin yung saturation nya around negative 40 yan that's it negative 39 na lang so sa red primary naman plus 44 para mahabo natin yung skin tone since okay na tayo sa background yung skin tone naman ng subject ang dapat natin habulin so around plus, 30, plus 44 and then yung saturation nya is babaan natin negative 15 so Ito na guys, tingin naman yung um, napaka-powerful ng camera calibration. Ito yung before and after niya. So, di pa tayo tapos guys kasi makikita niyo naman yung subject is masyado pang mapula. Although yung background niya is para sa akin, konting adjustment na lang ang level So, para mag-focus muna tayo sa use saturation and luminance so dito na tayo guys mag adjust or dito na natin nahabulin yung skin tone ng subject and kung may papagawin pa ba sa background nito so sa oranges sa you is around plus 33 I think and then sa yellow plus 35 And the green is negative 26. So, kung makikita nyo guys, halos wala namang epekto yung yellow and green. Since, um, nung in-adjust ko siya, halos wala kang makikita pinagpago. So, yun ay dahil sa um, camera calibration. Dahil sa, nung ginalaw natin to, because of that, because of that, nagkaroon ng ano. So, yung blue is around negative 2. So, yun guys, punta na tayo sa saturation. So, di na natin gagawin guys, yung or it seems para sa akin okay na yung skin tone niya konting konting liwanag na lang gagawin natin mamaya so bali so sa yellow naman tayo around negative 38 then sa green negative 30 and sa aqua negative 38 and blues ipalos ipantay na lang din natin negative 38 
for 39. So yun guys, okay na. Para sa akin, okay na to. Dadagdagan na lang natin ng luminance is yung subject natin. Around 23 plus 23. So that's it guys. So ito yung before and ito yung after. Nakikita niyo guys yung pinagkaiba ng skin tone at yung at ng pink color ng background. So, bala ang gagawin natin is gagawin natin itong preset. So, punta tayo dito sa preset. Then, click nyo itong nasa baba. Then, i-type nyo kung ano yung gusto nyo i-type para sa akin. Um, type nyo yung orange and teal. color grading so yun guys click ok then nandito na siya guys so eto na siya orange and teal color grading so the next time na mag insert kayo ng photo mas madali na yung pag edit mo then click nyo lang ito guys ok So, ito yung before and ito yung after. So, try natin guys sa ibang photos. So, ito. Again, same procedure. Control J para mag-duplicate yung layer. Go to filter. Camera row. And then, go to presets. Then, hanapin natin yung orange and teal color grading. Yun. And click OK. So, ito guys, para sa akin nag-match yung color grading nito at sa subject natin. So, ito yung before and after. Click OK. So, that's it. Before and after. Try ulit natin ito guys. Control J. Camera of filter and then preset and click the orange and teal color grading. Orange and teal color grading. So ayun guys, parang sa akin, madilim siya. So bali, yung pag ganyan yung situation, bali mag-adjust na lang kayo sa basic adjustment layers. So, pag ganyan ang so, pag ganyan ang sitasyon, bahal mag-adjust nyo kayo sa basic adjustment. Around, um, around 0.75 and then, babawasan ko yung whites niya and yung highlights. So, ito yung before and after. Click OK. Another one guys Filter, go to filter, camera row And then click The orange and teal color grading So in this case Yung kanina is Dinagdagan natin yung exposure niya Kasi madali So, ito naman mababawasan natin since sobrang liwanag na. And then, bawasan natin yung highlights and white. So, this is the before and after. And click OK. So, that's it guys. I hope natulungan ko kayo. Kung may mga tutorials kayo na gustong malaman, Please leave a comment below and hopefully magawa natin to. Thanks for watching!